guys, Nova here uh, for the Ghost tutorial I made on um, the effect that I did on my Edit Ghost. Um, things I want to say first are um, this is the sixth fucking time I'm recording this. Uh, that's why I hate making tests because uh, I have to do this like six times. I don't know if it's gonna work this time, I hope so. Um, um, this edit, uh, yes, it's an English tutorial. I'm not English, so please forgive my bad accent or uh, vocabulary. I don't, uh, don't know. And there might be some part I'm talking English, you know, French, sorry, to explain to French people uh, how to do the effects. Uh, so I'm gonna show you what's the effect. So, um, here. My uh, OCC H5 edit called Ghost, which is a tribute to Ghost, because he inspired me back when I started editing. So, right here, after the shot, seeing there's uh, some soul removal effect, that's what we're gonna make today. It's actually really simple to do, and uh, I'll try to make this as fast as possible. So uh, what you want to do is create a new composition uh, as you want. Um, I'm making this one because you might have a, a main composition already in your edit. So you want to um, add some cinematics, dying solder cinematics. So I'm taking one on BO2 to you know make something different. Uh, drag it into the comp, and then you wanna what you wanna do is pre-compose that clip because you may have already applied some effects and decided to add the ghost effect so um, uh, go to layer pre-compose and let all the attributes into comp 1 so it won't move your effects now double click on the composition go to your clip make sure uh, yeah make sure um, the frame rate of the composition is the same as the clip that's really important because we're gonna do some masking so uh, comp parameters and um, right here 55 uh, dot, uh, 94 uh, so in French il um, faut, faut être sûr que um, le clip soit le, la, la même uh, FPS que um, la composition parce qu'on en a besoin pour uh, faire le masquage so now you want to duplicate the clip uh, no need for no need for the audio um, and double click on uh, the top one um, now you want to take the moment he's uh, shot he dies so go to the moment he dies right here and we want to take the roto pencil pencil right here the second from the last en français on va prendre le roto pencil et on va faire un masque sur le personnage qui sera intelligent puisque on appuie sur play le masque gardera sa forme so the green button here will make you add some parts to the mask oh yeah um, did that issue uh, comes up when uh, you're not on full resolution so go to the composition and make it full uh, in French uh, voilà là j'ai un petit problème parce qu'en fait um, il faut uh, que faut être sûr d'être sur uh, uh, intégral la résolution Sinon le masque se fait très très mal. So now you're gonna not no need for a perfect mask. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I was talking about the green button. Uh, fuck. I just redo this. Don't know what happened. So uh, double click. Go to the moment he died right here, and take the rotor pencil. So uh, the green, yeah. The green is to add parts to the parts to the mask. And the red, which you get um, holding out and uh, you know, drawing a shape, uh, get rid of some parts. So, here, just uh, draw the shape of the sniper. Basically, no need to be a perfect mask because we're gonna add some effects that will, uh, that won't, there won't be any need for a perfect mask, so you don't know fucking know what's this okay, I'm just doing this make sure you add the parts inside 
um, actually, um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do a bit and skip to the end because it might take a bit of time, not, not really that long, but that's the main part of the edit, of the, of the effect. So, now you're gonna hit play and the mask will automatically do itself. So we're gonna, it's gonna stop here. So I'm, uh, I'm stop the, the play just before, and uh, you can stop it before too to remove some parts or add others. Uh, yeah, that, that's quite good. Good enough. Uh, play. So I'm gonna skip to to the end. Euh, je vais passer direct à la fin parce que ça, ça c'est pas très, très très intéressant de voir tout le masking. Ça prend un peu de temps, euh, mais euh, vous n'avez pas besoin de faire un masque parfait. Vous, vous pouvez arrêter toutes les euh, 3-4 secondes comme moi là pour essayer de remettre un peu en place, mais euh, vous n'avez vraiment pas besoin de faire euh, jusqu'au bout. Voilà, moi je vais pas prendre le sniper. I won't take the sniper into the mask, so you, um, just make a cool mask, not perfect, and that will be it. See. So uh, we're here for the end of the masking. Uh, I think I made uh, a pretty good mask. Took me uh, just look at the hour at the clock here. Uh, took me about I don't know uh, five to ten minutes. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'm gonna stop to the moment he hits the ground. That will be the end of the masking. Uh, that's the part of the day. The most, the longer. Uh, that's the long part. <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, I'll just show you one thing before. Um, yeah, sometimes uh, when you come across that bar here, the end, uh, it takes the full screen as a mask. Just re re redo your mask, and that would be good. So, um, I think that's, that's quite good. I get to the end, and that would be enough. Uh, what we're gonna do um, afterwards is um, we're gonna um, uh, apply the effects, you know. And but before, uh, I'm gonna cut the clip. So <laughs> his legs still the uh, and that that should be good. That should be quite good enough. Um, just wasting, waiting. So uh, now uh, go back to the main comp. Go to the moment uh, he shot. So that should be the beginning of the mask. Right here. And uh, yeah, the rod, the road of pencil uh, is really. I don't, know, I don't know how to say this, but really like. Um, mm, memory eating. I don't know. It's really. It takes really long when you, you when you have the roller pencil on and you made a mask. It's really you, you really uh, like previsualization. Previsualizations are much longer. So um, you 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 want to do this at the end of um, the edit. So uh, what? Yeah, had problems cutting my clip. So. Uh, did the first part and go to the end when he hits the ground and yeah just decrease the resolution it doesn't load that's fucking annoying too uh, you see it takes really really much time and I don't know if that's the case no, that taint. So, uh, that should be good. Yeah, uh, I'll stop the right there. So, now what you want to do is, uh, yeah, get again the clip, the, the last part, and uh, I'm uh, gonna apply some effects. So, go to the beginning of the clip. And uh, uh, I made a preset that I might give you uh, 
but anyway, I explain to you um, what how to do it. It's called uh, I call this Soul Momo, and basically it's just the effect right here. You know, with some TV glitches and uh, you know some saturation, color balance, you know. So hide this clip. Um, don't do what I do, but I'm gonna hide this clip to keep all the, the effects and show you how to make it. So when you only have the roller pencil in After Effects, there's already already a uh, preset made uh, I don't know by After Effects. Uh, I don't know in English, but something with TV, and that's the last one. Uh, it might be bad TV or uh, uh, low signal TV. Um, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm gonna say this in French. Donc en français, euh, vous appuyez sur enfin, vous cliquez TV là, vous écrivez TV et le dernier, la signal faible, ça devrait être ça normalement. Euh, L'effet, voilà. So, uh, yeah, voilà, yeah. Uh, get rid of the noise, le bruit en français. And uh, that should be good uh, as it is. Uh, gonna add some saturation. Color, it's uh, tint, uh, tint, no, that's you and saturation, yeah. Uh, go to the beginning, just, I don't know, take some values, uh, increase, um, increase saturation, like full. Um, and yeah, uh, keyframe it, go to the end, I don't know. I don't see that decreasing, I don't give a fuck. Taking too much time, so only just decreasing. Like this. Like that. And then when you come to the beginning, there's this wave wire that may uh, change uh, on your clips because here my sniper is too small, so I'm gonna decrease a bit um, the amplitude and the period. No, increase the period and decrease the amplitude. Uh, just get rid of the expression and just set it to, oh well, no, sorry. Yeah, like, that should be good enough. And no, my make 40. And now, increase the period, increase. Go to the end and put some values in there. Like uh, 0 or 10. Uh, that should be good enough. So now what you want to do is uh, basically you, yeah, it's simple. You just take your uh, sniper, the, the, the mask part, so it's looking like this with the effect. And there's no, that's why there's no need for a perfect mask. The end should be enough. Um, and you want to scale it up. Scale, scale, scale it up, and uh, just put it right in front of you know the. Actually, I'm gonna decrease the wave for maybe no need for it. Uh, I, I I'll give you the, the preset. Um, I'm not that I'm not that good with stats. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot to add the uh, glow. Just look at the parameters here and add some glow. Way war, so it's set to at the beginning nine and six hundred, and at the end zero two hundred. So get rid of the first. Like this, and that should be it. Uh, set to noise. Okay. Noise. Uh, okay, so. What you wanted to do, yeah, you increased. So now, uh, change the the, the mode. Uh, first, go to the beginning. Um, transfer hit T for the opacity and set it down. Frame it at the beginning, not the end. Put it to zero. 
that line there bit before the end um, bit in. so I know I didn't make a perfect mask uh, try to be as precise as possible when you do it because you see there's some it's got the, this, oh sorry disgusting thing right here but that died too, too bad either see uh, we already got the shape, the basic shape now what you want to do is um, ah that, that's near the end actually uh, you want to just uh, while he's falling, take position, like uh, frame it, go to the end, and just drag it up, drag it up, 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 up. So it's like okay, going up. Yeah. This will be ripped off this way. May uh, right click and it's easy, so it's more. You can fix the mask to your garden if you can. Yeah, that's not that bad. Uh, what you want to do now, uh, I don't know, might be the end actually, I don't know what I did. Uh, yeah, I used some CC light burst. CC light burst. Oh, okay. CC light burst. And keyframe it to zero at the beginning. Ray, uh, ray lens zero. Keyframe go to the end and just drag it up, drag it up, drag it up. So it's like you know it's um, pulled by the air, and you want the center to be beneath a soldier. So maybe decrease at the end. Decrease. See. Maybe put it just when he starts. Right. Yeah, like this. That's quite good, I think. Looking pretty nice. Uh, what I did is I changed the mode, set it to I don't know, maybe add it. To, uh, it's um, I don't know. Uh, Overlay that's overlay, uh, but you're gonna decrease the opacity and just duplicate it. I, I know I duplicated, I duplicated it and change the second mode. I think I put it to but like this, yeah. You and the first opacity. So now it's already, you know, uh, keyframed. I'm just gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I won't explain what I do, but this is a uh, basic project for me uh, for the cinematics. So I'm just gonna edit the cinematics. Uh, Must keep that part now, it's not that important. You already just to give you the idea of how it would look. So, what is top right here? Uh, I know that ain't really, really well explicated tutorial. I just asked my first editing tutorial, and for the language, you can call it you have known his last place. So, uh, take a nice CC. Uh, yeah, that should be quite nice. Like, for those who follow this, just uh, 
Red, she want a reddish, let's see, or blue, green, don't know, I say two red, no, blue, it was nice. And uh, greys, don't know, don't know what it is, maybe intensity, that's nice like this. And she's this, no, no, don't decrease, and glow. Yeah, that's nice like this. Um, be sure the black bars are under, uh, over CC, um, color correction. And now, just gonna edit this, so it would be like, um, get the scale, uh, rotation, and right click, uh, instant, I don't know, um, time remapping. Get 21 starts. I might start uh, when you start moving like this. Okay, it's smart moves. Um, like, I don't know, maybe yeah, a few frames after, go to the moment of the shot. That's how I do this actually. Yeah, and go to maybe in the last bit more than one second. So. Uh, keyframe when he falls like this, and then the end. So just a bit after. Actually, you, you want to see the soul going up. So make sure the suit is already at. When it's the end, yeah, that should be enough. And just get it right now. Come on, shift D. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now you're gonna pack right to scale. So set it to. You should just say a bit more here and uh, a bit less here and then at the ends, both ends beginning and ends, fucking crazy high scale. So, like this, and now we can rotate like this. Go to, I don't know, minus six, six, yeah. Season, and then fucking crazy high rotation. Not that much actually. Yeah, because I. Yeah, that, that's right out there. Uh, that's good, like this. Just. I'm gonna add black solid in this. So that's, that's quite extra tutorial. I know that's long. This is my first again, I'm sorry. I made this, I made it many times, we tried and uh, it's fucking annoying. So here's um, what it looks like.